Hello guys, uh, I'm really sorry about all this, but I've recorded about four episodes, but none of them actually, well, I didn't record some of it, and the rest of it got, um, corrupted or whatever, I don't know what you call it, because of my computer. So, first of all, what basically this is, is more of an update video with an added little texture pack look over, just so it's less one-sided. So texture pack will be later, but right now, um, basically, you Mac users will probably know that sometimes it'll say that your application quit unexpectedly, and Windows users will be able to interpret what that means by words. And um, basically what happened is my computer froze, and when I clicked on things, my mouse could still move, when I clicked on things it highlighted it, but there was no drop down or anything. And anyway, right. and basically it said um, it basically after a couple of minutes just shut down completely. I turned it on and it said Mac OS X had uh, that's the computer type basically it had quit unexpectedly, so the entire computer quit unexpectedly, which has never happened. Don't not buy a Mac because of that, but. That really scared me, and I had a whole bunch of my um, videos open, unedited, well, sort of edited, but anyway, those are all lost. So, well, a little bit on the texture pack, and I'll get back to what all this is. So, these are the spiders. The spiders scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> and I haven't seen the head of the zombie because of this thing, but that's smart. That was real smart. Holy crap. Holy mother. These are... Freaking scary, <sighs> dude! This guy, jeez, those are like horrifying. I'm never going outside again. Okay, so this whole room, for those of you who do watch my let's play, but this is the explanation for you. I found this while digging, and in one episode, I showed off this area. Which I'll have to explain all over again, but this video will actually be more than just a texture pack for you and an update video. This will be explaining a lot, so I don't even need to do anything. Uh, wow, this water looks very separated. And the water's fine, but the looks kind of like I can definitely tell where the blocks are. But basically, it says this is a texture pack for builders, so it highlights the blocks. So it's very buildy, and it's also very scary. So, it's very multi-sided. It's kind of, it's pretty nice. I don't know if, I don't really like wood like this, but I think it'll be something I might use. But basically, a spawner in here, and there's a spawner in there, which I'm definitely still working on. But basically, there's this, which is, uh, so I'm not really focused on thinking on how I can actually get that to work. This is a zombie spawner. Basically, I'm going to try and go through it quickly. They get pushed down, then they get pushed over, and they get pushed down here. This goes over, goes from the side, goes up about 23 blocks, then they drop, get damaged to about 0 to 3 hits, meaning they can either die instantly, or I can hit them up to 3 times. Because they're a little fiddly. This is to push the items. Um, what was that? Did I just get a half block? Oh, that was weird. Uh, I don't know what he was doing with the textures here, but that's that. So that's a zombie spawner. Scary as crap. And over here's the skeleton. No, not skeleton. I wish it was a skeleton. It's a spider spawner. Which is definitely not. <laughs> They're all falling. Uh, it's a spider spawner, which is very hard because spiders can see you through walls. So basically, they're at the wall, like right here, climbing it. So that's what makes this so complicated. And some of them use their AI to get around, which is what I was hoping for. I might add some more water, which will be right there, because it pushes them down into the area, which I'm then hoping they'll go over and through, but they don't do that sometimes, so I'm thinking I'm going to put water there to just force them over. And maybe some water on the ceiling? I don't know how that will work. And this is... I really don't like the armor. And so, the science of all this. 
So basically forget about texture pack review because I really want to say what I said. Basically, when I get... Alright, uh, I should at least be able to see it. So, uh, the texture pack kind of makes it a little awkward, but in a, uh, in the normal texture pack, you see how there's flames? Well, basically just normal flames, too. But God, they're freaking scary. <laughs> basically, there's flames there, and you'll know what I mean by flames in the normal texture pack. If I stand 17 blocks away, which would be inside this block, then it'll turn off and stop spawning. When it stops spawning, it said the world doesn't get, you know, too many mobs it doesn't need. And basically, uh, when there's more mobs inside 16 blocks, so there's a whole bunch of already spawned mobs, mobs meaning bad guys, if you're new to Minecraft, uh, or, or animals, just any non-player, I guess, or mobs. So when there's lots of dudes inside the 16 blocks, then it'll slow down also so that you don't get overwhelmed when you're trying to take the dungeon, maybe? I don't know what that's for. Basically, to get the best spawning rates possible... I don't know, what is that? And I don't really know why I'm using hatches, it's just a little thing. Basically, I need to stand within 16 so it spawns, mobs need to be outside of 16 so it doesn't stop them. So that's that. And... Basically, I found out that this is still within 16 blocks of that one, and so basically I'm hoping they get their way around. So I've gotten a lot of levels from this, and I'll get to that later. Uh, these are the lights. You know. I mean, a lot less detailed than all this, just because I've already said it maybe two or three times. But basically, uh, oh no, I don't like where the dirt's going. Uh, coal's not horrible, you know, it's, there's ways to screw, screw up coal, you know, you may not notice. Uh, I don't know if the hot bars totally for me, definitely not the pickaxe for me. Uh, I don't like the whole straight pickaxe thing. Uh, oh, alright, alright, alright. The grass has redeemed itself, that is very, very different. Wow, this guy's like, cool or something. Wow. It reminds me of, like, bats and creepy stuff. This is a very scary texture pack. And nobody's really done the cats, have they? But basically I decided I'm going to keep the kitty there, because sometimes when I walk out there's a creeper. But that, that happened in the other recording. The doors aren't bad. I can... But how the handles right next to each other are a little... have nothing bad to say, nothing good to say about it. It sounds kind of mean, nothing good to say about it. But, you know, I, I'm not against it. I have a melon farm in here, which was a bit of a fail. Uh, I love melons. I think, you know, how, like, Ant Venom, like, hates cows and loves golden apples. Well, for me, it's melons, and I hate probably sheep. Don't like sheep. I like chickens. Chickens are nice. Lava's lava. You know, it's got nice animation. Not not done badly. This is very beehive -y. Uh, it's kind of beehive. It kind of reminds me of engravings. You know, it's not bad. Uh, let's enchant this because it's pretty good. Wow, fit. God. Uh, I like these particles that are coming in. It's very magic-y. The books are books. Uh, again, the wood's not my taste, but I can stand it. Uh, and the here, these turn sideways. Not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's cool. And these are the crafting benches, kind of odd how it's iron, doesn't really go with the crafting recipe, but there's worse textures. And these are creeper faces, you know, traditional, but I don't know why you'd do that. Kind of running for your life from creepers your entire lifetime, why would you put, engrave them on your stuff? Okay, cows are a little uh, viking-y. Every possible way, they're viking -y. The pigs are pigs. They aren't bad. For a second, I thought he was smiling. Uh, I got dirt in here. Still need to do that wall. Glowstone's a little. Is that patched right? It looks very pale. I like the texture of it just overall, but it's like it's like it's uh, being highlighted like that. Huh, it's in here. I can't even remember. Ooh, this is my reeds. The reeds aren't bad. I like reeds. 
weeds or that are viney are more my taste. So that was my test. I've pretty much all done all that. Here's my list for what I should do. It's basically all I have in my world. Uh, let's go through, see some items, maybe. Uh, interesting texture. Uh, melon seeds look a little like dead flies. Horrible experience on my part. My uh, it makes it sound like I'm like rich or something, but it really isn't. It's very, it's not a bad house, not a good house. But I had this hot tub room that we didn't use the hot tub. It's not like some super sophisticated hot tub. Hot tub. It was very, just not not what you think. It's not amazing, and I'm not being spoiled. It just really wasn't anything, and it wasn't ever usable. It had something wrong with it, I think. But we're in a different house now. But my old hot tub, we never found out what was wrong with it. But it had an infestation of flies. Dude, it was horrible. It just had like maybe a hundred flies at the very, very least at any moment in time. And there was just dead flies everywhere. And I had to go in there to do some stuff every once in a while. But the leaves are very nice. Very nice leaves. And these are the jungle leaves. They remind me of a jungle. It's good. And then my shifting around in my chair is very loud, I noticed. But uh, a little laggy. I'm probably on far. I don't even know. So, no, no. I guess it's probably a texture pack because uh, texture packs do create lag for those of you who don't know. So if you're having a 128 by 128 texture pack, it may look nice, but that'll freaking. It could break your computer, make it melt on your table. But it's very silent right now on my computer. It's kind of nice. Uh, I don't remember putting this in the floor. But another important thing. Uh, this is kind of cool. I like. If it wasn't pixelated and it was a real picture, then I would like it less. So I like how it's pixelated. But then again, it's Minecraft. So of course it is. And uh, Rotten Flesh has been very, very different in every texture pack. A foot is fine, I guess. I mean, it didn't really specify what Rotten Flesh. So I guess that's cool. I don't know why you use your crosses, but I swear if you get pissed off from that, you just... But, yeah, crosses, uh, I don't really know what to say about that. I don't know why a cross would be armor. Uh, but it's not getting to that. Uh, I have a little apple here. I completely forgot about that. Uh, hmm. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Well. It's a very nice apple. It's very cash. Oh wait, no, I fixed it. I remember. Ah, that's nice. So what else do we get? Uh, all right. So back to me, and not to text back. Uh, I joined a team called Team Python. Uh, the name didn't really matter to us. Uh, none of us really cared. We just needed something to call ourselves. But it's me, a, ki a person in Australia, and a guy in. UK. You could probably already realize what's wrong. What the heck? You could probably already realize what's wrong with that. We're basically as far away in the earth as we can possibly be. So it's very, very, very hard to make videos. We haven't actually posted one in, as you can probably tell. If you haven't subscribed, do it now. But basically, we'll be doing Xbox, computer, Minecraft stuff. I don't really have computer, like PC games, but I'll do Xbox and Minecraft. I can't record on the Xbox, but you'll see it on the Australian person's channel, and UK dude does not have a channel, so, yeah. And this... Hmm... This doesn't match. But I guess that's fine. I don't want to go into the nether because I'm so pissed off at my nether, but... Oh crap, I just realized it's going to be scary as... Mm. Can't say that, but you know, uh, on the uh, Python videos, we'll probably be a little bit less controlled. These guys are—they're not as scary, but they're a lot more creepy. Ugh. Uh, Nether's very red, very very red. Now I don't feel like there's this weird little contrast in here. It's all red instead of this weird purple thing in the center. Uh, that's all that's really in here except for ghasts, which I rarely see. Um, 
Hmm. Alright. Fire, I don't think it's different. They have a stack and, you know, a whole bunch of rotten flesh and... Hmm, I believe that's about it. I think I might go into creative and go over some of the other things that I couldn't go over here. So, see you then, which will be in about five seconds. By the way, this is the title screen, uh, Minecraft with inspiration by, that's who it's by, that's his YouTube, that's, yeah, all that, he apparently likes gold a lot, I've noticed, but it's going to redstone, I have a whole bunch of weird little worlds that I'm screwing up on, this is exactly the position that it's screwed itself up, I believe, and I was reading some comments, and I don't want to look at the chickens yet. Uh, no, I think, I think. Right. So I was reading some comments and I noticed that this guy wanted to know how to filter young chickens from old chickens because I'd already done the egg filter thing and I was testing around to see if um, ocelots would chase after baby chickens and they don't really. So it's very hard to use any contraption that has to do with mobs like because this would be very inefficient but it may be the only way. So. That's that. Let's look to Creeper. Uh, <laughs> that's that's definitely the only person I've ever seen to do that. It's very. I mean, I see what he was going for, but he couldn't really do it because Minecraft, Minecraft. He's got his little tiny arms, and he gets pissed really easily. Wow. So that's the. Freaky eh, zombie. Let's see the skeletons. I'll see how we can make skeletons that creepy. But they're very bony. Very bony. That uh, turn. He's got. He's very creepy. Very creepy. Um, Enderman. I'm very. Uh, wow. He's definitely black. Alright. Hens. Let's look at the hens. Because these look more like hens than chickens. They're very. You know what? I agree with that. I agree. It's very nice. It's got little toes and stuff. Talons, I guess. Talons seems more like a... Well, that's soul sand, by the way. In case you didn't know, that's soul sand. So, it's eyes. Doesn't get much creeper than that. I can't get in there. Okay, there's a lot of dots in here. Let's, let's just wait on that. Pressure plates, different stuff. Slimes, nothing on them. That's a cactus. Yeah, nothing too special about it. Uh, that's a bed, lava, what else do I have? This is my little den I made for redstone. It's not very big for redstone stuff, but I made it anyway. It's very nice. I have something in here already. I just tried to make a little thing. And these are basically insects. I'm guessing, because they're very, ugh, god, the spider is like horrifying me, but the wool looks kind of like a little, uh, woven blanket, I guess, uh, where's the dot, here it is, so what I did was I made this for washing away redstone, just because, you know, I wanted to make something for doing that. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't like now, but we're not doing that stuff. So, let's look at the minecart. I can't do that. can't do that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's look at the bows. I'm always anxious to see bows. You know, I have a thousand in my inventory. This is the enchantment I got on this because I have stuff up above. I never really use maps, but let's look at it. Very nice. Very well done texture. And the arrow is too big. But I don't think that's his fault. Very thin. Not not big fan of thin. Uh, I'm very picky on my arrow. It's got red behind it. It's pretty cool. Uh, that texture has a black outline, which reminds me of a game I play. Uh, it's very clean, very sleek, and I don't think I can get it back. But if I put it in the ground, I can, right? No? Alright then. Guess we're not getting that back. So, a lapis is for some reason 
Not because bricks is for some reason squares. That's fine. Block of diamond looks. He had to make everything creepy, didn't he? That's like, dude, whoever made that has got to be like a pro. Looks kind of like a Batman symbol in the center. But this is very nice mushroom. Flowers. Nope, that's that's chicken. Ooh, very nice. It's a little patch. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. Jukebox, notebox, sticky piston has. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Uh, lol. And was that coal? Yeah, coal is a little dust. Uh, flint and steel is very um, detailed, I guess. I don't know, realistic. I don't know how realistic that is. That has an animation, automatically makes it good. And <gasps> awesome, dude. That is so cool. A plus for him. Painting that's the symbol for the uh, um, texture pack on the texture pack section. In case you didn't know, that's kind of interesting. I don't know what to say about that. But Peter's look very kind of Aztec, reminds me of it. Uh, ink sack, untextured, and cocoa beans for some reason are in a bottle. Oh, oops. No, Peter. So that's a repeater. It's a repeater. Nothing special. He's a chess. Uh, the water in lakes is very nice because I have noticed that a lot of texture packs make lakes uh, look very lines. Like you can definitely tell where the blocks are, which I do not like. So that's another good thing for him. There's just some some feel to it that I'm not agreeing with, but I could definitely use it. It's probably the armor. Uh, nice leather cap. Let's get some animals out. Uh, also, we've done that. Uh, zombie. I think I think that's a different color for zombies. I don't know. Uh, cave spider, which would probably make me fall out of my chair. Enderman, wolfie, zombie pigman. I've seen that. Nobody sees squids, but we may as well. It's probably creepy as crap. Mac Mickey, let's start with this. So, squid is a squid, and that that definitely scares the crap out of me. Okay, it's purple and uh, makes me sick. And that's definitely retextured. Um, come at me, bro. Uh, holy crap. <sighs> uh, that's not retextured. It's fine. And uh, now that thing's gonna be whining the entire time, it'll be very loud. Sheep. I don't think we've seen a sheep. Sheep's a sheep. And he somehow managed to make the sheep look creepy too. This guy, he's a funny guy, and villager. Hope he's done something cool with the villager. That's uh, that. It's silverfish will probably be scary as crap too. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Which one was it? Villager. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice job. You're good. It doesn't have the nose, so are they able to take out the nose? I guess they are. Well, it's probably still there, it's just invisible like the creeper, but nice job on the, on the guys. Uh, I haven't seen someone get rid of the crossed arm in the center, so he just has really short arms. You know, that'd be different. Uh, don't listen to my ideas, they're stupid. Stupid. I believe that's about it. <laughs> the boat looks like a longboat or something. That's very potiony, definitely potiony. They're very tiny, tiny experience bars. Uh, that's iron bars, nothing special about that. That's very technologic, I guess. I'm cold. Let's see what he's done with the boot. Oh, I didn't put in the water. Look at that. Alright, it's pretty good. Where are the water particles like? Water particles. Alright, nothing special. I kind of like I, I like how everything here looks. I like the boat. I like the water. I like the grass surrounding it. These are 
dispensers, which creates a long-lasting loop of scary monsters. It's basically, it'll just keep doing stuff for the most part. Let's go over here and finish everything up. Let's get some trees out, see what they look like. I hope this was well informing for you. In case you're looking for a new texture pack, you probably already know about this texture pack because it's pretty on the front page of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that doesn't look any different, kind of. Where's the band man? It's in giant, giant bodies. Nothing else. Wasn't gonna say anything else. Uh, it's birch, very realistic birch. A lot of people don't even know where the birch is, which is kind of sad. I had one in my backyard for a long time. It has the little black stripes, which is actually peeling off. Like the actual thing is peeling. Uh, that's that. That's special, and that's. So yeah, it's the inset. I think. God, that looks so weird. It's just flying around in the sunlight. Well, let's end with a bang. So I'm just gonna surround myself in interesting TNT. It's I guess it works. I don't know. I've never played with TNT. And let's just place one in the center. And I'll just well goodbye. Um, sorry for all the bad little um fails. It's pretty nice, but just. I'm pointing where you can't see it. Uh, it's nice how it just comes out of the inside area. Anyway, um, that's about it. Um, it is the weekend right now, so I'm hoping. Uh, crack my necklace. I'm hoping that we may be able to get a multiplayer thing out. So, see you guys, whatever next time is.